Pizza for Pirates by Adam and Charlotte Geelan. A boy called George had a wonderful plan to sail with a fine pirate crew. So he packed up a pizza his favorite feast and rolled off on the wide ocean blue. George traveled for hours till he spotted dry land and saw mermaids on rocks from afar. As he steered into port, he heard pieces of eggs and a loud croaky voice roaring. Argh! Ahoy there, cried George, and he held up his sword. Please, can I be a pirate like you? But all he heard was a flap and a screech. Then a noisy bird burst into view. I'm a parrot, it squawked as it perched on his head. And pirates love parrots, I'm told. I'll help you to track down a whole pirate crew and we'll find treasure chests full of gold. George steered his boat on through the choppy green waves as a shiver of sharks glided by. Then he spotted a shape in the mist up ahead, so he popped a patch over his eye. Is it a pirate ship? George asked the bird. The parrot screeched. Where is his sail? George peered through the telescope and gave a cry. That's no pirate ship. Look, it's a whale. They tried to escape from the whale's gaping mouth, but a wave swept the boat in its jaws. With a whoosh, George was swallowed. How would he escape? He even lost one of his oars. George switched on his torch and he took all about. While the parrot flew down with a flap, Shiver me timbers, cried George when he saw a hat and an old treasure map. As he put on the pirate hat, George told the bird, Get back in the boat, I have a plan. Think of the best pirate joke that you know, and then squawk it as loud as you can. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are! When the bird told a joke, a strange sound could be heard. First a rumble, and then a loud roar. The whale's laughing, said George with a sigh of relief. Then he paddled like mad with his oar. They shot out of the mouth of the chuckling whale and splashed through the waves and the spring. Till the parrot called out, Land ahoy, George Milan! And they steered the boat into a bay. George stepped onto the sand, then he crept up the beach, while above him his parrot friend flew. At the sound of loud voices, he peered through the trees and saw there a real pirate crew. Avast there, be hearties! Found my best hat. We're in luck. Is my treasure map with it? The captain asked George. I lost both long, long time ago. Yes, it is, exclaimed George, and he held up the map. Then he read it and shouted, Let's go! They walked this way and that till George came to a stop. It's here, he said. Dig, no one rest. The shipmates worked hard in the burning hot sun till they dug up a huge treasure chest. But while the pirates grabbed a handful of gold, a green tentacle crept up the beach. 
Then a sea monster suddenly burst from the depths and carried the chest out of reach. It lifted the treasure towards his huge mouth. George shouted, Stop! Listen to me! Eat this pizza instead! You can have the whole thing! It's much tastier than treasure, you see! The monster glared down at the dripping wet snack. Then it gobbled it up in one bite. It put down the chest and the crew roared. George Lyon, you're the best kind of pirate, all right? Then the captain said, George, now you're one of the crew. There is just one more thing to be done. We must head for our ship and then you walk the plank. And we'll show you how pirates have fun. <laughs>